In today's video, we're going to be culinary hunting, trying out some octopus satay, trying out some meat kochok sabang style, we're gonna go see some dolphins, we're gonna go snorkeling, we're gonna see some beautiful landscapes and beaches here in Pulau Weh, Indonesia, for the next three days and two nights. So let's get started on this exhilarating adventure. Welcome to the port of Ulele in Banda Atre. Today we're going to be going to Sabang, so yeah. So in order to go to Pulau Weh, you need to take a ferry from Banda Aceh, the capital of the Aceh province in Indonesia. And we took this fast ferry or speedboat, which took around an hour. You could also take the ferry that you can carry with your car, but that takes a few hours. But in just an hour, around 9.30, we've arrived in Pulau Weh. Welcome to Sabang. We have arrived from our ferry over there. It took around an hour and 15 minutes. It was supposed to depart at 8 o'clock. It departed at like 8.15 a.m. 15 minutes late. I mean, I think that's usual, uh, but yeah. Welcome to Sabah. So during our stay here in Pulau Weh, we actually hired a driver with a high ace or a van. We're going as a group of 10, so just our normal car wouldn't fit. And basically, there's no go car, grab, or like Uber in Sabang, so you need to hire a driver. If you have any questions about my itinerary, the driver, the car, and any, any other travel information, you can personally DM me. But our first stop after arriving in Pulau Weh was to go to Sabang City and go to somewhere called Misadap. Our first stop here in Sabang is Misadap. Um, where they sell like mi kochok or like noodles but sabang style with like fish so yeah is it any good let's find out we tried out the soup and fried version the kuah version or soup version was warm and soft the fish broth flavors are in the soup and that's what makes it different from other mi kochoks and in indonesia basically every city has their own style which makes them unique the goreng version or basically fried version is nice and salty it's got a nice flavor the fish is soft and basically it's 15,000 indonesian rupiah for one bowl or 12,000 indonesian rupiah for half a bowl or a little bit more than half a bowl so decent prices here in Sabang, Indonesia. Let's continue our adventure. And this is like the port behind the restaurant we were just at. We made our way to a beach called Ujung Karong or Coral's Edge in Achenese. So basically this beach is rocks and you get to see this crystal green turquoisey blue water. We took some pictures, we just enjoyed this beautiful view and we drove to another sightseeing location. So that's a black sanded beach and now we're walking up to a sort of place they would do war because like the Portuguese would have came from Malacca their vantage point there's a there's a building here it's like run down it's a really cool view you get to see you can see like ships there it's called Benteng I, I forgot the word in English I'll put it up right here but it's a steep walk all the way up there but yeah pretty cool now we are at Ruma Makan Kenchana or basically just Kenchana restaurant here in Sabang we're gonna go eat some lunch and it's some Achenese cuisine. So is it any good? Let's find out. So basically, Aruma Makan is where you get served all the food on a table and then you eat what you want and you pay for the plates that you ate from. Even if it's a little, you have to pay for the plate. And what you can see me drinking right here is shredded cucumbers, which is a drink you only find in Aceh. But the food itself was all pretty good. The fried chicken tasted good, but it was a little chewy. The shrimp balado was good, but the shrimps are pretty small here in Indonesia, which I like the big ones. The tempura shrimp was super crunchy and salty. The taucho was good, it was spicy, but, but the tofu tasted a bit sour. The egg was just basic fried egg, and the fried tempeh was interesting. It was very big, and it was like very like airy, but it was battered. I like the normal tempeh without batter. But overall, you can see me just absolutely demolishing that plate. I was pretty hungry. The atmosphere was okay. Now let's drive to our accommodation for the next two nights. To our resort here in Sabang, or Weh Island, Pulau Weh, Indonesia. It's called Hawk's Nest, and it's quite like chill. I think there's only four units. 
The view is absolutely spectacular. I was going to go for a kayak ride, but the paddles are actually broken, which is interesting, but yeah. On the way to dinner, we found this vantage point on the side of a hill, really cool. So for dinner today, we're going to be trying out Ache Heritage Village. It's a vintage aesthetic style restaurant that sells Western food and some Indo food. So let's give it a try. To start off, we first got the Nasi Goreng Ache Seafood Fried Rice because you have the calamari here. It's actually really good. It's an Achenese fried rice, which is not very soy saucy, but spicy. It's like light in the shrimp. We got the creepy umping. What is this on the side? This dish is pretty good, not bad. Next up, we got the macaroni something, something, something. I'll put it up right here. So we got the macaroni and cheese, super cheesy. Ooh. It's super cheesy, this mozzarella, pretty good. I think I, I still like the, the other nasi goreng Aceh heritage one. All right, so we got the fettuccine with the tomato sauce. This is seafood, we got the calamari. Let's try it out. The calamari is like really sliced like small and it gives a nice like chewy texture. The the spaghetti for some reason tastes has the texture of like a rice noodle, like a fur rice noodle. Tomato sauce goes really well. Really tomato tomato y uh, but it's not thick. Like I don't think it's just a little bit of tomato sauce, not too much. So we got the margarita pizza. We got the thin pizza slice here. We got the cheese slice of tomato. On a usual margarita pizza, it's a uh, basil. Pretty thin crust, it's crispy. The cheese is really like cheesy, like when I pull it. It's interesting, but ah, pretty nice. Not really as good as the other dishes, but yeah, not bad. Next, we got the Hawaiian pizza. It's a lot more charred, interestingly, and it looks thicker, but I think it's the same. This one's actually got chicken, and instead of like, usually it's prosciutto, I think, or ham. Let's try it out. Same cheesy mozzarella. Let's try it with the chicken. Like a fried chicken, like an Achenese fried chicken, which was interesting, but it's not fried. I personally love pineapples on pizza. Comment down below your thoughts on pineapple on pizza. But this Hawaiian pizza is better than margarita, but still by far, my favorite is the nasi goreng Ache heritage, then the fettuccine fr frutti della mare, and as you can see behind me, it's already getting close to nighttime. So we're probably gonna finish up some of that food and then go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. And good morning from Pulawe, Indonesia. This morning, we're going to be riding a boat to go see some dolphins. Hopefully we get to see some of them. And then after that, we're gonna go snorkeling. But yeah, let's go see some dolphins. So the boat picked us up from our hotel's beach and with this guy, we went out to the sea. We waited to see some dolphins. This was really exciting and fun, but unfortunately I didn't get to record many of the encounters, but it was super cool to see them in real life. The water wasn't as clear as some of the videos I've seen are, but you can see the dolphins coming up to the surface and jumping out of the water. It was pretty cool. So right after seeing the dolphins, we made our way to Pulau Rubia or Rubia Island, which is off the coast of Ibo on Pulau We or We Island. We went snorkeling and the water was super clear. We got to see some fishes, we got to see some sea urchins. So right now we're at Rubia Island, Pulau Rubia, and we're snorkeling and there's a bunch of fish here. But when I just came, there's no one, but now there's a whole lot of people. But yeah, if you go all the way deep down there, there's gonna be like even more fish. You already see some of the fish, but yeah, pretty cool. And the landscape itself was super cool. Take a look. So with the same guy, we made a deal with him to go back to Ibo to get ourselves cleaned up and showered. So basically, this is our showering place. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's like 5,000 Indonesian rupiah per person. But yeah, I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. The conditions are okay, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's not that bad. 
Now, after showering, we took a drive to our next stop. So now we are at Guasarang Beach. Absolutely beautiful. We're now gonna take a walk down this uh, little staircase. The view is absolutely beautiful. For lunch today, we went back to the city and went to Freddy's. So we first got the fettuccine alfredo. It's nice. The sauce is really creamy. The smoked beef was good. It was pretty good. Next up, we have the Freddy's pizza. We have sausage, peppers, even mushrooms. It's pretty loaded. It's all right. It's okay. Next up, let's try out the Acha seafood fried rice. It's like the white, it's like white fried rice, the Achanese style. It's a little bit more on the plain side. It's all right. It's seafood. Um, so you have the calamaris, the shrimps on top. And yeah. Next up, we got the beef barbecue pizza. It's nice. It's spicy barbecue. It's hard to tell which one's better of out of the pizzas. Both aren't like superstars, but but they're both just decent. So after we ate lunch at Freddy's, in front of it was a coconut stand that was selling coconut water for 10,000 Indonesian rupiah. You could add even more sugar or syrup, but without it, it was super refreshing already, super sweet, and it was really nice, which is 85 Canadian cents or 60 American cents. Sate Gurita, also known as octopus sate. And this is something uh, famous here in Sabang and usually only in Sabang, not anywhere else in Indonesia. They open up usually after 5, 5.30 maybe. So we just came back from the sate place. We didn't only just get gurita, but we also got beef and chicken sate. So let's give it a try. So let's first try out the octopus sate. And this is a mix of padang and kacang, yellowish brownish color. So you can see like the tentacles over there. Mm. So you taste that padang sauce, which is really good actually. And then you get the kacang, like you get like a chewiness from the octopus. It's similar to like a calamari. It does like squid a little bit. Like the even the chewy texture, it's nice, I like it. Uh, the sauce is good, uh, specifically at this place. Our driver said it was supposed to be good. Uh, but yeah, now let's try the beef satay with padang sauce. This beef specifically is a little bit chewy, and then it's just padang sauce, which is which makes it just not spicy, or at least I didn't get any of the spice. Now let's try out the chicken, um, but kacang sauce, peanut sauce. It's nice. It's really soft. Kacang sauce. Um, it's just sweet and with like my favorite octopus mix, also known as the gurita sauce champur. And then I like the other two more to also just this one just really shines so it is around six so i'm just gonna be enjoying my satay here with this view i'll see you again in the morning to catch our fast ferry back to banache and good morning from the port of sabang and with that our sabang trip comes to an end i hope you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe right here or see my latest video right here it's your boy foodie signing out peace